shark's vision is about 10 times better than ours. They have incredible night vision and they can see almost 360 degrees around them. As if that wasn't enough, they have two additional senses that humans don't have to help them see even if it's pitch black. I'll break down sharks' incredible vision, some weird visual disadvantages they have compared to us, and finally, the specific time of the day when shark attacks are a lot more likely to happen. Shark eyes are about five times the size of our own, and their structure is pretty similar to that of human eyes except for a few things. First of all, sharks are colorblind. There are two different types of light detecting cells on the retinas on the back of both our eyes and shark eyes. Cone cells detect color and help us see when it's bright out. And rod cells let us see when it's dark, but they don't pick up color. Humans have three kinds of different cones, while sharks only have one type of cone, making them colorblind by our standards. They have a higher density of rod cells on their retinas though, so that lets them have better low light vision while not prioritizing their monochromatic color vision very much. Their high density of rod cells also gives them great motion detection, quickly spotting any prey moving around them. The way that sharks change their focus from things up close to them to things further away is very different from how we do that though. When humans do this, we change the shape of the lens in our eyes by muscles above and below the lens contracting and relaxing. Sharks, on the other hand, have a completely spherical lens in their eyes that they shift, moving it back and forth to change their focus position rather than transforming the shape of the lens. Snake eyes actually do the same shifting of the lens too. Sharks' fully spherical lenses are more curved than the lenses in our eyes, giving them a wider field of view as well. Having their eyes on the sides of their head also helps sharks have a great field of view, but it results in a couple of blind spots, one directly in front of their snout and another one right behind their head. Because of their front blind spot, sharks will move their head side to side or even in a circle in order to focus on something right in front of them to get around that blind spot but they sometimes bump into something right in front of them because they just can't see that it's there. Hammerhead sharks are a little different though. Their eyes are so far apart from each other and you might think that they have huge blind spots, but scientists have actually shown that their eyes have huge fields of view. Those fields of view overlap and hammerhead sharks can see 360 degrees around them. So a little bit better than most other sharks. So nobody's gonna sneak up on a hammerhead shark. I mentioned that sharks have more rod cells in their eyes than us, but that's not the only thing giving them crazy good night vision. Sharks have a layer of reflective crystals coating the back of their eye, known as tapetum lucidum. That makes their eyes glow in the dark, similar to what happens with cats or dogs at night. In our human eyes, whenever light shines through to them, they hit our retinas once and that light is detected. But for sharks, the light hits their retinas once, like it would for us, but the reflective uh, tapetums bounce light back a second time, giving them better low light vision that makes them awesome hunters, whether it's night or they're just deeper in the ocean where there's not as much light making it down there. But the same ability would essentially blind sharks when it's bright outside. Thankfully, during the day, pigment cells cover their reflective crystals like natural sunglasses, and the cells retract so that the light is reflected back onto the retina a second time when it's dark. Here's one more cool thing about sharks' eyes before I get to their two bonus senses that humans don't have. Some shark species have super strong eyelids that protect their eyes, but some other shark species actually roll their eyes backwards in their heads so that their eyes essentially replace with this really strong fiber layer. When they're hunting, this can protect their eyes from something like the sharp claws or teeth of a seal, but of course that makes them not be able to see through their eyes when they roll them back like that. But luckily for them, their two additional superpowers let them see without their eyes. Superpower number one. Electroreceptors called ampullae of Lorenzini detect electrical fields in the water. Muscle contractions and even heartbeats of prey in the water send out weak electrical signals, and sharks can pick that up. So this lets them detect prey even if it's camouflaged or hidden under sand. Earth's magnetic field also introduces electric fields to ocean currents, so sharks can pick up those to be really good navigators around the ocean. Superpower number two, special organs called their lateral line system detect vibrations in the water. 
These are fluid-filled canals with little hairs and sensory cells in them. Detecting vibrations, again, helps sharks identify prey or predators, but for some shark species that do things in groups, it helps them coordinate as they migrate or hunt together. In murky water or when it's just really dark, sharks rely more on their lateral line system and electrosensors rather than their visual eyes. It's the combination of sharks' incredible vision with these bonus superpowers that make them such terrifyingly good predators. Some sharks use their powerful eyesight to spot prey from a distance and then rely on those other senses to close in for the kill. For example, the great white shark often uses its vision to spot seals silhouetted against the water's surface, and then they sneak attack them from below. As they get closer, they roll their eyes back and their electrosensors take over. And then boom, poor little seal. But at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that sharks have some visual disadvantages compared to us. And there's also a time of day when shark attacks are a lot more likely to happen. Those two things are actually very connected. Earlier, we talked about how the reflective crystals on the back of sharks' eyes give them great night vision. And during the day, pigment cells cover up the reflective crystals so they're not blinded by light, like natural sunglasses. But having those pigment cells retract or appear again takes some time. Humans are able to adjust to different brightness levels pretty quickly as our pupils expand or contract. That adjustment between different light levels is called visual accommodation. For sharks, this process can take up to a few hours, meaning that their vision is compromised at dusk or dawn as the light levels outside are changing. And that worse vision makes them a lot more likely to mistake a person splashing around for a seal or some other kind of animal that they would typically eat. So shark attacks are much more likely to happen at dusk or dawn. Are there any other animals you'd like me to cover in this series? If so, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.